Morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, everyone. Today, we will be presenting on 10 interesting facts about St. Ignatius. The first one. His birth name was actually Inigo de Oñas y Loyola. He later changed it to St. Ignatius because it was much easier to pronounce, and it was a very popular name in Rome, Italy. Now, in this picture, he doesn't really have the long hair, but in his youth, before he became a saint, he used to wear his hair all the way to his shoulders to impress the ladies, because he was known as a Casanova. St. Ignatius referred to himself as he and the pilgrim in his autobiography to show humbleness. Even though an autobiography is about yourself, he didn't want to use the pronouns I and me, because he didn't want to make his autobiography about himself. He wanted to be as humble as possible, so he only used third-person pronouns. Take it away, T. During his time in Manresa, after his conversion, St. Ignatius experienced Great Depression and even contemplated committing suicide. St. Ignatius studied intermediate Latin in lower-level classes with young boys to qualify to teach at university level. He did this because he felt that if he had more education, he could be able to complete his goal faster. Spirituality was so important to St. Ignatius that he spent an entire year preparing for his first Mass in order to be spiritually ready. St. Ignatius founded a house for reformed prostitutes called Casa Santa Marta as opposed to looking down at them in disgrace as the rest of society at that time would have. St. Ignatius penned over 6,800 letters in his lifetime, making him one of the most prolific letter writers of his time. He was placed in prison three times for interrogation because he spoke of theological matters without a theology degree and he was not ordained, even though around this time he was very well known. And lastly, he was hauled before the Spanish Inquisition on numerous occasions for questioning on his religious orthodoxy because they were very surprised that a man with such little learning could speak such lengths on spiritual matters.